Well, I'm excited about a discovery that our research team has made. It's uh, based on a molecule that's been studied for many, many years. I have a model of it here to explain the nature of that discovery. All tissues have a molecule we call collagen. They have three strands. The strands intertwine to form a rope-like structure. Then it has a special end to it. And then in the tissues of the body, be it a heart, a kidney, or an eye, the molecules come together end to end. and lock in place. These have to be connected. So the discovery is the chemical bond that holds these two molecules together. And it's a special bond. It's never been before been seen in biomolecules. So now we think it's in all tissues of the human body. We also think it's in the tissues of all animals. Well, we, we think we've discovered a fundamental chemical event that's critical for the formation of all tissues. Having said that, one implication of the work is that in the development of blood vessels, for example, in a, in a tumor, blood vessels are being formed to feed the tumor. This molecule, this bond, we already know is in tumors. So there might be a special way to block tumor formation by blocking this bond. So that's a potential strategy that we will now pursue. The other aspect of the work is that there is a, a rare disease that I've worked on for many years called good pasture disease. It's an autoimmune disease. And it's a special paradigm for understanding the, how an autoimmune disease gets started. We think that this bond is defective in those patients. So we're excited about following up on this now with a discovery and see just how this bond is involved in, in, the, in the initiation of good pasture autoimmune disease. Well, once we had the, the bond discovered, it was discovered in uh, tissues from cows. It's a model tissue. You get lots of it. We now think it's in all tissues of all animals. So the project was uniquely set up so that students could get involved in searching for this bond throughout the animal kingdom. So we had the high school students and the undergraduate students, more than 30 people this summer, working to see if they could find the bond in any number of animals. And the students have obtained new evidence that the bond exists in all of those animals, from worms to anemones. So we're very excited about it, and the students are excited because they have gotten involved with original research. It was not cookbook. There was no recipes, no answers. They had to find the answers, and they got answers in six weeks. But we did it, and it's exciting because we have information that the bond is in all animal tissues. Well, it's another exciting part. Uh, research is uh, incremental. I've been working on this molecule for 40 years. This molecule continues to yield important insights into how the tissues are formed in a human body. And I'm excited about this one because it's a new chemical bond never before found in a biomolecule. So that in itself is uh, a level of excitement. And uh, there are many more discoveries to be made on the same molecule. And many of the students that have worked on it this summer will continue working on it. So we're excited about finding how the bond is formed. Because as we understand how it's formed, there are likely to be diseases associated with that process.